Watson, we have Theresa May and Philip May. Uh, so we have a, a real collection of uh, people that the Queen will have got to know rather well, including David Cameron um, and his wife, who are just arriving now to be greeted by the, the Dean and others. Let's join Fergal again. Well, as we watch the arrival of former Prime Ministers, uh, we should tell you that the leaders of the nations of the United Kingdom have also begun to arrive. The First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, who last week at a special sitting of the Scottish Parliament said that for more than 70 years, Queen Elizabeth has been the great constant in our national life. She's inspired us, on occasion comforted us, and always personified values we hold dear. We can see the leader of the opposition, Keir Starmer. And Keir Starmer. And sitting near him, Ian Blackford, the SNP leader in the House of Commons. Michelle O'Neill of Sinn Féin, now Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland, sitting almost directly behind Ian Blackford. And now Tony Blair and his wife Cherie arriving, and behind them John Major and his wife Norma. Mark Drakeford, the First Minister of Wales. At her wedding to Prince Philip in 1947, the bride's wedding ring was made from Welsh gold. And Her Majesty later remarked on the significance of the ring, saying, I carry a small reminder of this country wherever I go. this unique procession of former Prime Ministers now moving towards their seats. And as we look at this assembly of prime ministers, former prime ministers, foreign heads of state, we're reminded yet again of Queen Elizabeth's place in reconciling, particularly in Northern Ireland, where her presence, her influence helped the bringing about of a negotiated peace. We are reminded too, of course, that she worked with 15 Prime Ministers, the first of them Winston Churchill, to whom she wrote a handwritten letter on his retirement, and for whom she accepted an invitation to dinner at Downing Street, a very rare thing.
And finally, now, the last Prime Minister of Queen Elizabeth's reign, Liz Truss with her husband, Hugh O'Leary. Miss Truss met the Queen at Balmoral just two days before her death, when for the last time in her reign, she appointed a Prime Minister. So as the Prime Minister is uh, greeted.